Florida. He's here with his uh, good friends and family, and uh, he's one of those old timers. And how he got skipped, I don't know. Here's a guy that was all region in cross country and in baseball. And I remember that the thing I remember in baseball most about him. And I, I wish Coach Dean was here. You know, Coach Dean was his head coach back then. Coach Dean passed away a few years ago, and he loved Pat. And uh, he always knew when we had a big game, he would look at that calendar and he'd say, here's Pat, here's Pat, here's Pat. He'd have him lined up for those games. And in 1982, Pat's senior year, he was 7-1, and one, and that year we went to the finals of the region. And we got to the finals of the region because uh, the, the day before, in the semifinals, we played the number one team in the region who was Newport Catholic. And uh, Pat beat him one to nothing, but he had to pitch eight innings to do it. He's pretty good. And one time, uh, Coach Dean said, that ball did something funny. Go out there and ask him what that was. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I said, okay, Coach. So I go out there, call time out. I went after him. And I said, Pat, what the heck was that? Was that a curveball? Was that a slider? He said, I don't know. I held it like that and threw it real hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of these pitchers are a little flaky. out there. <laughs> but, uh, well, Pat was our, our go-to guy in, in baseball. And again, uh, in cross country, he was an outstanding runner. Back when they didn't have all the different divisions they have now, they just had about 500 guys running that state beat. <laughs> and he fired a gun and you're on your own. And uh, he, was, uh, he was a leader on the teams as well. And he was a very smart player. Uh, he was a student of the game in baseball and understood what needed to be done. And somehow he was able to accomplish that when he got out there on the mound. So at this time, I'd like to bring forth Pat Fiber and, and conduct him into our hall. Senior guy, that makes me sound so old. I feel so young now. No, I want to thank a lot of people. I want to thank, uh, obviously, uh, Coach Orcutt, who's, uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. He was a, uh, one of my favorite, not just uh, coaches, but uh, teachers as well, and a fun guy to be around. Uh, you know, you always have the, the good guys and the bad guys, and, and Coach Orcutt was the, the good guy. Coach Dean was the bad guy. But I mean, the bad guy in the sense of, of uh, he was the guy who I, I really needed to get kicked in the ass all the time because he was the guy who made me run the laps. And, and uh, you know, if you throw an 0-2, uh, you know, you throw an 0 Callan on, on, on a player, and he'd come out and say, if you throw a fastball down the middle of the plate, and he hits this, you're out of the game. I don't care if you've got a, if you've got a shutout and no-hitter going. And, and I learned a lot of fundamentals from, from, uh, from Coach Dean. And uh, he's probably the guy who, uh, two people that really uh, I want to thank the most, uh, him and my father, who can't be here because he passed away, and who uh, really was an instrumental part of my life, um, who uh, made me go out every single night as soon as dinner was finished. Come on, Patrick, get your glove. We're going to toss and we're going to throw and we're going to throw and we're going to throw and we're going to work on situations of everything you can imagine in the game. And this is, think about what you're going to do when you get up there. The ball's coming, you know, know what you're going to do when, when, when your situation happens. And let me tell you, it's, it matters a whole lot. It really matters, not just that, it matters in life. It matters, uh, um, you know, everything you do and make, thinking about what you're doing instead of just uh, you know, the ball's doing it. Um, you know, I want to thank, uh, you know, the induction uh, Hall of Fame committee for, for, for inducting me into the Hall of Fame. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I, I wouldn't have missed this, even though I had to drive a long way to come here. It was a, a, a tremendous honor. I really appreciate it. And uh, I want to thank my teammates, uh, you know, who couldn't be here. Um, John Schaus, my catcher, who was a phenomenal player. And uh, God, having a guy like that behind the plate made a, pitching a lot easier for me. <laughs> Just had to get out of the way when he was throwing the second because it came about 100 miles an hour down the second. Uh, but, uh, and, uh, you know, one of the things, the, I'll break this real brief, uh, uh, where I grew up in the, in the early days, of, like uh, Mr. Webb was saying, of, uh, of Scott, uh, you know, I wasn't sure at the time whether I was going to be going to, to Scott, Holmes. I lived in, in, in Latonia at the time, not Latonia, uh, Winston Park, uh, the borderline of Taylor Mill. And I wasn't going to be sure, sure if I was going to be going to, to, uh, to Scott or... Uh, or Dixie, or Simon Catton, or Holmes, and uh, the Holy Cross. You know, these were Holy Cross. Uh, all my friends played Holy Cross. You know, I almost went to Holy Cross. Uh, you know, Jeff's brother, uh, Terry. Uh, we played strike out against the wall. You know, it was very, very competitive. These guys, it was like you know, we played every day. Now, Latonia Elementary beat each other to death. And when I found out where I was going, all my friends were like, you know, we're going to beat your you know up when we play you in baseball. So I was bound to determine not to let that happen. 
And uh, so every game was either, you know, okay, so I'm playing against the Holy, we're playing Holy Cross, now please pitch, you know, that one hitter against Holy Cross. And uh, Jerry Blasky, I guess, you know, Jerry, uh, Jerry got a hit off me, which really still ticks me off to this day. <laughs> no hitter in the, in the last inning, he hits one up the middle. But uh, yeah, I was sitting with Simon Kenton and Dixie and everybody. It was, it was always something to look forward to. And I always felt like when I got went out, I had a mission to, uh, to beat these guys. Uh, because they're all my friends. So uh, it, it was a lot of fun. And I uh, grew up a lot my senior year and learned a lot. And uh, anyway, so I want to thank everybody very much for, uh, for like I said, for inducting me and giving me the opportunity. And uh, uh, thanks again. Appreciate it.